We spoke about exercise on our last episode of 101 Anxiety Tips, and it just made sense that we should follow up with diet. Does diet affect our anxiety? Are certain foods better or worse for anxiety? Does eating a healthy diet help? And if so, what is a healthy diet for anxious people? Today, we'll look at three lists about anxiety and diet. Five beneficial eating habits, five foods to avoid, and five foods to embrace. We'll take a look at what the experts say and provide a few references along the way. Stay tuned. Hello there, this is Dee, and welcome to our series 101 Anxiety Tips, presented by Easing Anxiety. These tips are from a wide variety of disciplines, so some may work for you, and some may not. Please visit our website to see all our videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when new videos are available. Thank you for watching, and now, let's take a look at today's tip. Today's topic is on diet and anxiety. But before I start, I do want to remind you that I am not a medical professional, and this video is for informational purposes only. If you plan to make significant changes to your diet, please consult your doctor and or nutritionist first. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's dive in. Yes, diet can affect anxiety. Several studies have found links between specific diets and foods and the increase or decrease in levels of anxiety. And today we'll take a look at a few of those. Let's start with a 2013 study published in the International Journal of Endocrinology. This was a study of current literature evaluating the effects of dietary manipulation on anxiety-like behavior. The author of the study stated, Currently, it appears that high fat is anxiolytic, while diets high in sugar may have more anxiogenic characteristics. Now, for those not familiar with the terminology, something anxiolytic helps reduce anxiety, and something anxiogenic causes anxiety. So, high fat eases anxiety, and high sugar causes it. As we go through other studies and medical literature, we find that sugar and other simple carbohydrates don't fare well in most studies when anxiety is of concern. Let's look at those five habits right now. Number one, eat a balanced diet. Eating healthy, balanced meals with fruits, vegetables, and a good source of protein is a great place to start. And while you're at it, avoiding processed foods and focusing more on natural and whole foods sure helps. Number two, don't skip meals. There are a lot of fasting diets out there, some with some amazing claims, but most studies show that skipping meals is generally not a good idea for your health. Skipping meals can result in a drop in blood sugar, which can cause inner restlessness, that, that jittery feeling, and feed your anxiety overall. As you can see with many of the tips in the video today, keeping a consistent blood sugar level is beneficial to avoiding spikes of your anxiety. Number three, don't overeat. Not only is overeating hazardous to our waistline, to our heart, to our joints, to most of our physiological processes, it also has negative effects on our mood. Eating reasonable portions is a key component of keeping healthy physically as well as mentally. Number four, hydrate. Just like overeating, dehydration has negative effects on your physical and psychological well-being. We need to be hydrated for our bodies to function properly. And water, plain old H2O, is the best source for that hydration. Remember that caffeine and alcohol actually dehydrate you, so stick with a glass of tap water when you get thirsty. Number five, 
Eat a healthy breakfast with protein. Many people start their day with sugar-coated cereal or a muffin or cinnamon roll on the go or even pancakes and French toast. <laughs> oh, I'm making myself hungry if I keep this up. Don't forget the protein, though. Protein at breakfast like eggs, lox, nuts, lean pork or chicken sausage, plain Greek yogurt. These can help you keep your blood sugar steady throughout the day. Remember, don't skip the protein in the morning. Number one, caffeine. Limiting or avoiding caffeine is usually a good idea if you're struggling with anxiety. Caffeine can feed our ecstasy or inner restlessness and also affects our ability to sleep. Caffeine can be found in coffee, tea, soda, chocolate, and especially energy drinks, which can also have loads of sugar. Number two, alcohol. Alcohol is another one you might want to limit or avoid. While it can feel calming at first, it can also put you on edge and, much like caffeine, interfere with sleep. Drink in moderation if you like, but be aware of the consequences and monitor your intake. Number three, simple carbs. Avoiding sugar, corn syrup, soda, desserts, processed flour, all these things that we usually love, can be a good idea when you're really anxious. These foods can cause spikes in our blood sugar, as we have mentioned, which can aggravate your anxiety. Another hidden aggravator in this list is fruit juice. Since it has much of the fiber removed, it can act like pure sugar. A healthier version of sugar for sure, but sugar nonetheless. And this can cause spikes in your blood sugar levels. Number four, artificial sweeteners. Yeah, don't think that diet soda is the good alternative for your sugar crush, since it too can have a variety of complications. In fact, aspartame has been linked to anxiety and depression in various studies. It can be found in many foods and drinks that are labeled sugar-free or light, like soda, desserts, salad dressing, and many others. It's always a good idea to check the label. And number five, food sensitivities. Some foods can affect some people in certain ways, which can aggravate your anxiety. Now, controversy does surround this topic since food allergies and sensitivities have been on the rise lately. Some claim environmental toxins are the cause. Others claim it's a lack of exposure to a varied diet in our childhood. And others claim it's a conspiracy. Now, this is not a debate I'm about to wage here. I know better than that. Regardless, once food sensitivities are developed, eating those foods can aggravate your anxiety. So, Know what they are so you can work around them appropriately. Number one, complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates are metabolized more slowly than simple carbs. And this helps to maintain a more even blood sugar level. Sound familiar? We've talked about that a couple times in this video. And this helps to create a more steady, calm feeling. Complex carbs include whole grains like quinoa, barley, brown rice, oats, beans, potatoes, and sweet potatoes. Number two, whole fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables have plenty of benefits that I don't have to repeat here, but I still wanted to make sure it wound up on this list. Many of them also fit into the category of complex carbohydrates. And if you're eating fruits, please remember, as I mentioned before, that whole fruits are better for you since they help to maintain more even blood sugar levels. Number three, omega-3 fatty acids. Some studies have pointed to omega-3 fatty acids as being beneficial for those who struggle with anxiety. According to a 2011 study on medical students, omega-3s were found to help reduce anxiety. And studies prior to this one have also identified their benefit with people dealing with depression, too. 
Number four, magnesium and zinc. Foods rich in magnesium and zinc can help one feel calmer. Magnesium can be found in leafy greens, spinach, chard, nuts, legumes, seeds, and whole grains. And zinc is common in oysters, cashews, beef, egg yolks. Number five, fermented foods. According to a 2015 study in psychiatric research, fermented probiotic foods were found beneficial for those struggling with anxiety. The authors of the study stated, consumption of fermented foods that contain probiotics may serve as a low-risk intervention for reducing anxiety. So yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha, pickles, and buttermilk might have some benefits at helping you feel a bit calmer. As with most topics these days, a simple internet search will find a wide variety of articles and studies on the subject of diet, food, and anxiety. I found far more than I can include on this video, so take a look around. And take a look at our references section in the description to this video if you'd like to start there. While I was researching diet and anxiety, I came across a wide variety of books and articles that may help. Here are just a few samples I came across. The Anti-Anxiety Food Solution by Trudy Scott. This book takes a look at foods that cause inflammation and also considers histamine production and food sensitivities. The Anti-Anxiety Diet by Ari Miller. This book takes a functional medicine look at diet and anxiety. It also has a focus on inflammation and recommends a low-carb keto-type diet to help. This is Your Brain on Food by Uma Naidu, MD, a board-certified psychiatrist at Harvard, nutrition specialist, and professionally trained chef. She authored one of the articles I referred to earlier in this video. Her book takes a more research-based approach to finding specific foods and diets, which can help manage a variety of psychological conditions. Now, I have not read these books, so this is not a recommendation on any of them. Just a place to get started if you're looking for more information. Well, that's our video on diet. I, I really hope you enjoyed it. Take a look at the description for links used in this video, and please visit our website at easinganxiety.com for a complete list of all of our videos. Remember, when it comes to diet and health, the basics are tried and true. Eat a balanced diet, get plenty of protein, complex carbohydrates, whole fruits and vegetables, ease up on sugar, caffeine, and alcohol, don't overeat or skip meals, and keep everything in moderation. What you put in your body affects not just your physical health, but your mental health too. Treat yourself well. You deserve it. Be kind, be patient, and be at peace. I'll see you next time.